welcome back to the Devil May Cry 3 Let's Play. This episode, Dr. Agro is going to give us his opinions on the movie Jumper and why it's one of the best films of our time. So, I mean, a lot of people look down on Jumper. They call it simplistic or a little hackneyed or really terribly written with bad acting. But if you really look at it structurally, mm -hmm. Jumper is basically Homestuck, except with only a couple of teenagers and a lot more teleporting. Wow, that is that is a really good point. I feel most people miss that. I thought you guys were talking about Looper. No. Okay. No. What? Okay. No. Looper is a different movie. Looper is the sluggy freelance of Hollywood movies. You know, if that's what it takes to shut you up, bugs the crap out of me. Chester seems too into this. Why isn't he shooting it? So rashly, my boy. Because that fight scene didn't actually happen before. But if you snuff out my voice like that, I won't be able to tell it now, will I? Yeah, that added content sure does make this even dumber, right? I thought I was a goner for sure. He's fanning himself off with a cylinder. Yes. You saw it too. We're in it, right? That causes women to shut I up. have that. Linking the demonic domain to the human That's what I tell them. Of the one who controls it by using your mommy's amulet. I leave that part out. You'll need to find two key cards. Bring one of them back here to heat it up. <laughs> Man, why does the Devil May Cry 3 end with you boxing your brother shirtless on top of a mech? That, does it not? I mean, it's, 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 it's similar, but it's not on a mech. There's, there's only a marginal amount of boxing. Not so Virgil doesn't scream, Fox! Die! <laughs> Twelve. Oh my god! <laughs> I never noticed. Because, good lord, that's abstract. Well, I mean, when you what? think, when you look at it, like, you really look at it, it's literally just a twelve. It's No, it's, it's a slanted what? vertical thing next to an S. That's not how the number twelve looks. Uh, I kind of hate to break it to you. No! <laughs> no, the bottom of the S is flat in the number 12. Uh, so it's kind of like reversed. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, the top doesn't start in the same place between S and 12. Here we go. Mission 12. This is. So this thing gives me infant devil trigger, but it will at least have my health, as he was talking about. Mm. I can't believe my co hosts are dyslexic and really dumb. The Dan Mitchell story. <laughs> No, no, S's and 2's, they're identical, Dan. Basically, <laughs> depending on the font. <laughs> Look, I know web dings is real hot shit. <laughs> Look, I, I'm just saying, go make a wrought iron S and a wrought iron 2, and come back and tell me how much effort you were willing to expend to really <laughs> differentiate those. Oh, you are so lucky I'm not Linus from Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> he wouldn't even do it Does well, Does he work in yeah, wrought no, iron? Do well, but that's not the point of YouTube. <laughs> Bob, the point isn't who's right. The point is the arguments we had along the way. I see. And destabilizing democratic institutions to pave the way for authoritarian regimes. But wait, you know, wait, that's wait. a pretty wide view of things. We can keep things just small and heartfelt. <laughs> That was a cool backflip. Yeah, yeah. I had the wrong guns like this, so I couldn't do anything in air because you, yeah. can't, you can't shoot the other gun in air. Right, yeah. <laughs> Why not? It's because... Too much kickback. I guess. You'd fly away. That Wouldn't sounds like that. a great way to get off this thing. I want to be on this thing, though, obviously. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Just stand on the rail and stinger. <laughs> it's not near as cool. I'm obviously Seriously? in a hurry. It's not near as cool. Yeah. No, I don't know, man. At that point, you're basically Cole McGrath from Infamous. <laughs> you're just sparking and flying really fast while doing a pose down a thing. Man, you know what's great? Cole McGrath. You know what's really not great? What they tried to do with him in Infamous 2. And what they ultimately did do with him in Infamous 2. 
where they redesigned him from like, you know, haggard, jaded, bald guy, New Yorker, to weird free runner dude with the tear tattoo and the cool hair. I'm really glad the vampire thing was all I ever saw him too. Well, see, they redesigned him like that, made him into a total, total bro dude, right? Mm -hmm. And to this day, I've cursed them for even trying to do it. They, they changed his face sculpt back, but the new voice actor who has uh, too many emotions, they, mm. he's still in the game, and it, it worsens it. But I, I finally found a human being who enjoyed the redesign. <laughs> he's not listening to this, so he doesn't know I told this story, but I'm not going to name names, awesome. so, you know. I'm pretty sure the came out during a live stream, but... Nah, it's cool. No one will find no out. No way he'll find out. Actually, I'm not even... I don't think that came up during a live stream. I think that came up uh, around the discussion of us doing that new podcast. Oh, maybe. There was a live event. Oops, outed him. <laughs> it could be anybody, though. It could even be Bob. <laughs> yeah, probably be. You know, Bob has the tendency to refer to himself in the third person as a him. Uh, White Orb's pretty cool. What's up with that? Uh, it gives you Devil Trigger back. Right now, I have Devil Star's it. pretty cool. What does that do? Uh, you can use it to give Double Trigger back. White orbs are like yellow, green orbs, where it just brought out enemies and heal you, or in that case, restore your Double Trigger. Oh, okay. Those pillars full of faces are pretty cool. What do you do with that? Uh, they look cool, and you, you are impressed. I am impressed. Are you not impressed, Agro? I, I don't know why that really made me want to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're an alcoholic who's abusive. Terrible to his friends. <laughs> No, good. that can't be it. Good, if I keep selling him on that, that he'll he'll join me for the Lords of Shadow 2 Let's Play one sitting live stream oh, as, no. like, his way of making penance. <laughs> did, did we already do two? Not as far as our fan base is concerned, because it was never archived, right? Oh, man. Yeah, Twitch, is, Twitch was terrible back then. Well, I mean, if it's going to make me play Lords of Shadow 2, it's still terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that you hit the head of me. It's just a rigid statue that keeps flipping as you hit it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's hilarious. It's I wonder dumb. if these guys are coming back for five. Oh, man, that would be funny. I, I would really like new things. Yeah, I no, mean, clapping I... is fun and all, but right. I, I would really like new things they're in just... my stuff. Yeah, no, there are they're honestly too many things coming back for five, but the redesigns for that game are pretty insane looking. Yeah, no, they look pretty different. Pretty cool. Oh man, he's gone still. And his book isn't here. I guess it got up and walked away. Took his book, I guess. I don't know. Are you saying Arkham is a death? Is no. that what you're saying? No, I'm saying Lady probably took the book. She came back. Oh, okay. She got the book from him. She like, realized the thing you said of it's really dumb to bury your father with some sort of, I don't know, demon book. Right? I, I think the giant dark. spiders just came up here. <laughs> That's true. There are there is a giant spider problem in this place, isn't there? I I had forgotten. Bob, totally you say forgotten. problem, other people say opportunity. Yeah, I mean, geez, Bob. Why are you profiling so much with your low income housing? Let these spiders move in. You're just lucky to rent the place. It's barely up to code. Look, giant spiders don't need to worry about any codes. That's all I'm saying. What? There's a dude off screen, isn't I there? guess so, darn it. <laughs> there we go. I hope that happens to Devil May Cry 5. I'll totally clap. <laughs> there was a spooky face up there. Oh. Uh, okay. Is it now powered off? I don't understand this bridge. <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's turning. <laughs> you, you add positive electricity to it twice, and be, you know, you get like a double negative. But... That would be a double positive. Well, in in linguistics, not electricity. Oh, I wait. could fight. I could fight Jester again here if I really wanted to. I they really don't the, want you to. No, I don't either. Okay. They they suck in the middle of like this level. It's already got a boss. Oh, hey, this is like that thing from Devil May Cry One. Yeah. There you go. There you getting it. Uh, you know, this isn't like that thing from Devil May Cry One. I'm really disappointed. It's like this level was already pretty long. It already has a boss in it. What were you thinking? With what? Putting Gesture Fight in there. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a good gesture. Oh my god. Where did they go? They're just uh, closer to the camera. Uh huh. There you go. Not that close, otherwise we'd see them. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about horsepower. 
It's a yeah, horse. Yeah, he just said it. Oh, poor Aragorn. He's been stuck by <laughs> it. Jesus Christ. Race with a horse, huh? Fair enough. And if you think Dante isn't going to try to headbutt a horse to death, <laughs> you're the idiot. I really should have uh, equipped Royal Guard so I could yeah. be spamming with the, or the rifle. The, the gun, yeah. Yeah, you really should have. We can do something similar by doing the gun switch, but it's not quite the same. Not quite, yeah, no. Not as cheesy. Mm-hmm. This this uh takes some serious time. Is it is this just what this fight is? No. Okay. Yeah, this, this is just the intro to this fight basically. There I'm we go. I'm starting to think your pistols were doing more damage. I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> is that getting bigger? <laughs> That'd be hilarious, right? I think it is. No, it's not actually getting bigger. I don't know. When I was a kid, the geometry on my uh, CRT was pretty borked. So, mm -hmm. like, uh, the, it didn't have a uniform image in size across the whole thing. So, uh, in the intro to Mega Man 7, when he puts on the helmet and jumps three times to go off the first screen, he got bigger. <laughs> and I was like, what is this nonsense? Holy crap. That really unsettled me. It took me until pretty recently to realize, oh, it's the geometry of the TV. Because, you know, obviously I went back and played it on an LCD and it didn't, it didn't do that. Missed him. Almost. <laughs> then we just ride around on top of him. Wow, that seems uh, dangerous as hell. But, uh, works out really well, actually. Huh. Where did he, what, what is that? He's got the time powers. You know how it is with these demon horses. That's weird. That didn't happen in JoJo's. We didn't have a horse, a chariot death battle that had time powers. Yeah, no. They're mixing JoJo's here. They're I know. just mixing and mashing, taking whatever they want. This is terrible. Horrible, even. This is going to do a really shit job of covering the Pillarman arc. <laughs> I mean, there is a distinct possibility that Dio Brando is hiding inside that dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> The horse is like, please let me go, Dio. And he's like, no, you look beautiful covered in this blue neon paint. I don't know if it'll happen, but it's okay. He's gonna. Oh, okay. I guess this is what well, doesn't have the, the other part of that happen. What's the other part of that? Um, there would be like demon spears that appear around me to hit me. Oh, well, or while well, time stops. It's kind I, of, it's very JoJo's and very good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. It's almost like they came up with that part for this fight and then went, man. Oh, man, this is tense. It is. Bob hasn't died once this whole Let's Play. Oh, no. Come on. It's fine. You're just There's slow going to kick his ass. Oh, those are demon oh, spears. What the shit? Oh, he said spirits. It, he, he totally, yeah. Oh no, I, I, I meant to say spears. I might, it might come out wrong. Oh shit, that's too cool. Ugh. Come on, it's gotta stop eventually. There he goes. Oh man, real close. Oh man, that was that was yeah, close. That wasn't bad. What a tense episode. <laughs> Wonder what movie Agro will express an opinion about next. That upset everyone. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, that horse's face looks like two hands put together. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I think we cracked the code. We're in. <laughs> There's actually a really cool strategy I've seen, and I was able to pull off like once, uh -huh. where you like jump in with the first like first starts. Yeah. You jump in with the 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 punching gloves so you can do a, a kick into him and yep. then you do a short you can and it just knocked the horse over immediately and start beating him off what uh, like it, at the beginning of this part of the this, fight this part of the fight not okay. the other part unfortunately you have to suffer through that no matter what oh man this is like that movie jumper <laughs> it really is well i haven't seen he the was, movie maybe he there's... was just gonna take that rock to the face
What a cool dude. Yeah, unfortunately, his fingers like that. Unfortunately, that's a style, so you have to give up everything. Everything. Oh man, look at all this not health. That's fine. This is the end of the mission. Oh geez, spoilers. I know. This is a cool cutscene. Yeah. I mean, it right. is a cutscene in this game. <laughs> They've all been cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> Every last one of them. That's why I saw it. I like the one where Dante steps out of his house and yells at people for ruining it, even though it was a shithole to begin with. <laughs> what? They wear the same cologne. What do you want? Right, though, just that he got miles away. He's like, I figured this out. Yeah, it made a lot of sense, Bob. You. You're not the one I faced before. But this smell. There are two of them. How come Dante can't do that? Bleed out of his neck stump? Yeah. <laughs> I just think it would really scare enemies. <laughs> You know, he's he's dead, Virgil. You don't... He just well, doesn't even want the body sitting around. The weird thing is, all the bosses turn into the weapons that you get normally. Right. Yeah, like that. His just head did. turned into those, and then Virgil beat up what was left of him. Well, it looked like he came out of the middle of his body, honestly. <laughs> so, so that makes it even weirder. It is weird. There are a lot of mysteries here. I'm sure we'll solve that in the next part with Sass, right? Yeah. Okay, what's this next mission? This next mission is... Uh, is it a chunk? It's a pretty decent chunk. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Let me just... But it, it's a really good stopping point, though. It's like... It's like the midpoint of the Let game. Let me just, uh, walk over here and... Make sure everything's... Make sure we got... Just... Oh, man. It's a really good stopping point, though. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, man. Because we only really did one mission this whole episode. I know. It was probably one of the longest ones in the game, but still. Ah, oh, jeez. The next one's the longest one in the no, game? No, no, no. The one we just did. Ah, oh, jeez. You sure the next one's shorter? Um, with all the cutscenes, I really don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, Bob. This is hard. It's rough. This is a hard choice. <laughs> you know what's making it better? Sitting here talking about it. Ah, oh, yeah. That's making this way easier choice. Way easier. Yeah, we're ending this here.